like that one. <gasps> it is one! And it's doing it! Sea turtle! Sea turtle! Oh, it's a baby sea, sea turtle. turtle! Lily did say lots of pictures. Okay, I'm done. Seagulls? Oh, this is bad. Seagulls are predators of baby sea turtles. Predators? You mean they want to eat it? But it just hatched. He's helpless. Poor turtle, poor turtle, poor turtle. Poor turtle, poor turtle. Grab it. Put it in the water ourselves. Huh? Nash says he wants us to pick it up and bring it to the sea ourselves. That's a great idea. Yay! Nash, wait. In nature, it's best to let creatures do things by themselves. We should only pick them up if there's no other way to help them. <sighs> Go away, seagulls! If we could scare them off, it could give the turtle time to get back to the water. But what are seagulls scared of? Caterpillars? Thunder? Broccoli? Aha! Uh -huh. Seagulls are afraid of hawks. So we'll make hawk sounds. They sound like... Um, uh, nay! Boo! I don't know about hawks, but your farm animal impressions are great, Gorby. Here's what a hawk sounds like. Nash, we need to be way louder to scare them. I've got an idea! Audrey, play the hawk sound through the polar boat speakers as loud as you can. Raising volume to maximum. Now would be a perfect time for a picture. All right, let's take some photos. <laughs> of the sea turtle, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Great driving, Willow. Like I said, totally under control. Though I think all that bumping did some damage. Audrey, what's her status? Hopscotch, mountain top. Shindig Valley! Yep, definitely some damage. But it's nothing I can't fix. Okay, which tools am I gonna need? A screwdriver? A wrench? Or whatever this thing is. Thanks, guys, but I got this. Beach time polos, you play? I'll stay. Yay! <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Uh, okay, goes there. Willow's a great engineer, but what if she can't fix the polo boat? <gasps> we'll all be stuck here forever! 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 Stay calm, Chester. Get your mind on something else. <laughs> I got it! Ooh, a beach ball! I love beach balls! <laughs> This engine is totally seized. It needs a top-to-bottom rebuild. I found some spare parts below deck. I was saving these to build a dancing robot, but I can do that next week. Ready, Gorby? I got it! I got it! I, I don't got it. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Wow! Ah! Oh, the wind's really starting to blow. All that clanking tells me you don't think any of these will make the engine work again. <sighs> nope, we need something else to get the polo boat moving. Ah, come back! Ah, yikes! Leaves everywhere! Oh, ah! Oh, hey! Ah! Oh! <laughs> 
Ah, oh, I wish the wind would stop. I don't. I'm having an engineering moment. Wow, a sail made out of palm leaves. That's brilliant, Willow. Thanks. Seeing the wind push those leaves around gave me the idea that a whole bunch of leaves could catch a whole bunch of wind to push our boat. The wind will press on the sail and make it puff out. This force will push the pull boat forward, and I'll use these levers to steer. Then it's bye-bye island. Changing to Polo Marine mode. And down we go! Hey, it says here that the ocean has different zones that get different amounts of sunlight. Right now, we're in the topmost zone, called the sunlit zone. Plenty of sunlight can reach this area, but the deeper we go down, the darker it gets. Below the sunlit zone is the twilight zone. Here, a little sunlight can reach. And below that, deep, deep down, is a midnight zone. Light can't reach here at all, so it's completely dark. Wow! It's getting really dark. And we're here. Uh, it's kind of spooky. I'll turn the headlights on. Whoa! What is that? A rat tail fish. It's named that because of its really long tail fin. In the deep ocean, only plants and animals that can survive extreme pressure live here. And most of them look very unusual. Ooh, like that creature. Yes, that's a type of sea slug called a nudibranch. It's cool, but I don't see Nash's dolphin. Ooh, what's that thing? What is it? Wow! Jellyfish! <gasps> and they're glowing! When a creature can make its own light, it's called bioluminescence. It's very useful when there's no sunlight around. Lucky! Dolphin! <gasps> Nash, you found it! The glow from the jellyfish helped you see where your toy landed. Oh, yeah! Way to go, Nash! All right! Got it! Nice, nice work, work, Willow! Dolphin! Here you go, Nash. Good as new. Ah. Wait! Hey. Just a little soggy still. <laughs> cool! Yeah! Aww. Dolphin! Yay! <gasps> There's an insect pushing a ball of poop. It looks like a kind of beetle. What would such a little thing want with such a big ball of poop? You don't think it's gonna eat it? Ew! Ew. Uh, let's look it up. It's a dung beetle. Dung? What's that? Dung is another word for poop. And yes, it's going to eat it. Yuck! Why? It says here that whenever an animal eats something, not all of it gets digested. Some tiny undigested bits end up in its dung. And that's what dung beetles eat? Yes. They also get water from the dung. Okay, this time I'm going to say it. Yuck. Where's it going? Yeah, if they're going to eat dung, why not eat it right here? Yeah, there's plenty! They bury it so they can eat it later? And they lay their eggs in the dung balls. It looks like it's working really hard. That ball is huge in comparison to the beetle. Dung beetles are the strongest insect. It can move a ball over a thousand times its weight. That's like you pulling a school bus, Nash. Wow! But that's not all. Dung beetles help the environment of the savanna by burying and eating tons of dung produced by other animals. You mean they help to keep this place clean? Yes. 
Plus, flies lay eggs and dung. So by eating and burying so much of it, the dung beetles stop the fly eggs from hatching. So, fewer flies. That's amazing. Actually, dung beetles are amazing. Dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. They've got a dirty job that someone's got to do. They're small but mighty and they're tidy too. We're lucky there's a bug that's willing to lug around so much poop. They go to work every single day with a tumbling dance that looks like play. But if you had to do a job with poop, would you? Rolling.